was uh, asked to come and come and help with this exhibition uh, about um, oh, about eight, a year ago, I think. And uh, Ian Holt, uh, the archivist, uh, was pulling together a team of people to put on an exhibition to celebrate the 400th anniversary of the school being built in Oldham. There were already quite a collection of these documents uh, in the custody of the governors in a bank vault in Oldham and uh, they very kindly allowed us full access to those and some of those are on, well one of those, the charter itself is on display today. About, about six weeks ago we really started um, beginning to produce these boards and we tried to keep the balance between text and illustration so we had a rule that we had to have no more than about 300 words on each board uh, and it had to be illustri uh, illustrated with some, we hope, contemporary and apposite uh, illustrations. Uh, it's all, we, we took the delivery of the last ones on Friday morning, uh, put them all up on Friday afternoon and uh, here we are. Certainly the, for me the, the interesting bit was understanding the early history of the school and of course we're celebrating this year uh, 400 years, 1611, 2011. But in fact, what, what has tended to get forgotten, quite understandably, is the fact that the school was in existence um, under the mastership of Thomas Hunt, who was the curate of Oldham. Uh, we don't quite know when he started a school, but it was certainly in existence by the early 17th century. Um, of course, as you get nearer the present, uh, it's, um, you know, we're in a sense where material is a bit scarce for the early years. By the time you get to the refoundation of the school, in the late 19th century, you're almost embarrassed with too much information. Uh, and in fact, we, we, we you know, had to be very selective there. But what we tried to put together is something of the... Well, we tried to concentrate on those very early years when the school um, was first planted on this site, which of course was a completely greenfield site at that time, um, an old colliery line running across it. Um, and this rather magnificent building was built with the money from the Human Trust. And then it opened its doors and you've got uh, if you look on the display panels, you've got the, um, the first um, boys and the first girls, because of course it was opened as a, a combined boys' school and girls' school. We've got two artefacts on display. Um, we've got the foundation charter, which is 1606, um, and we've also got this very early Bible, a uh, very interesting Bible actually. It's a Bible of 1616, and it seems to have been, it's probably the only book that survives from the old school um, that we still have in our possession. And it's a parallel translation of the um, New Testament. Uh, you've got on the left hand side, you've got the Roman Catholic translation of Reims. And on the right hand side, you've got the Bishop's Bible, which was the translation being then used in the Church of England. It's edited by a, a Cambridge scholar, William Fook, who was a friend of Lawrence Chatterton who is probably the man who is the prime mover in founding the school in six, or getting the school built, I should say, in 1611.